this is Riding with Ree. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I am sharing my experience of having bought my first horse as an adult in Surrey as well as stories from the equine world. In today's video I'm going to be showing you the first time I saw Woody after two weeks of being away from him due to work and being stuck in isolation. I'm also going to be showing you a moment I had which was a little bit of a crisis of confidence in my own riding which led me to take on a lesson with a dressage schoolmaster. Let's get straight into it. Okay, I've just got to the yard. I haven't seen Woody in over two weeks. That is it, that's the intro. <gasps> Woody! You gonna come say hi? Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh, he's just blowing on me. This is so sweet. I missed you. Indeed. First things first is a brush. I have not brushed Woody in like two weeks. Obviously the girls have done it for me, but... Oh, hi. The brush. The brushes. Just been over with a plastic curry comb. Just to get all the stuff from underneath. So I went with a rubber curry comb, then a plastic. I'm gonna go over with a candy brush in a moment. You sleepy. We are all done with our groom. <laughs> Woody's having a little chill. I'm gonna drink my tea and um, wait for the Barry to arrive. Oh, I'm late. Oh, I'm tired. And these are very similar. So they've got like a, you see that toe's worn mm. off a bit. So same thing, you can roll them forward on either side. So that keeps yourself as well. So if there's like an imbalance in the foot, then that can kind of counteract it. Mm. Oh. Come on. I can't even tell you how happy I am right now. I'm so happy to be on board. Woody's striding out. He's just being the best. I am just, oh, this is all I want. This is all I want. I just love him. Such a good boy. Feeling well, are we? Mm -hmm. Feeling well. So as I'm riding along, I'm also trying to do something productive because it's me. I'm really trying to focus on having balanced weight down each side because I can be a little bit crooked. And I read an article the other day with Carl Hester who talked about how your position on the horse is a bit like, you should be, you should feel kind of like you're standing. Oops. So you should have equal weight down both legs so that if the horse were to disappear underneath you, you would stay in the same place. And that's what I'm trying to visualize. So equal weight down my stirrups, equal weight in my hands, sitting up straight, tight core, just because, why not, right? While walking along, Woody is on great form. He's swinging through. He wanted to trot earlier, so he's feeling really good. So I'm really pleased. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking about, especially having watched the Olympic dressage test yesterday from Charlotte and Carl and feeling very inspired indeed. It's so funny hearing myself talk about all these things that I'm focusing on and the pressure that I can sometimes put on myself as a rider, as we all do. Because what I wouldn't know in this clip is that a few days later, that pressure that I have to be a really good rider and the best that I can be would actually lead me to have a really bad day on Woody. It was nothing he did, but I got in my head and it was really quite awful. Let's take a look. I'll be really honest for a minute. What I've just got back on after getting off after schooling and chatting to some girls at the yard I basically they were like how was it and I just started crying I just like I haven't schooled in so long I feel really out of practice and I feel like I'm letting him down every time I ride him because I feel like I'm not good enough and I feel like my balance is wrong and you know 
you just feel like you're not doing a good job as their partner so i guess i just wanted to share in case you've ever felt like this because it's like fine so anyway we're going for a little ride down the road as the girls suggested just so we end on a better note and i'm gonna stop now before i cry anymore <laughs> So yes, not nice to watch. And after that little walk, I sat down and reassessed and thought, you know what? I just need to go away and have a rebuild of confidence, perhaps on another horse who themselves is very, very balanced and stable. And therefore I can just focus on myself, my riding and come back and bring that all to Woody. So I decided to book a lesson on a dressage schoolmaster. Let me take you with me and show you some of the clips. This instructor encouraged us to tack up our own horses. So after arriving and saying hello, I went off to find Guinness. Oh, oh you've got your saddle on already. You jump up and have a look. Yes, I haven't used the curb chain before, so I'm no. not sure how tight you want it. You've I've got it on three or four normally. Got it on three. Oh, there yeah. we are. I'm so not used to double assessment horse, so. Oh, wonderful. I was yeah. just saying, I've not used a double bridle before. Oh, but that's well, okay. Yeah, we'll figure cool. it out. For the first 10 minutes or so, the instructor encouraged me to walk around on my own, get a feel for Guinness and the double bridle and get a sense of the space. Well, I've, I've sort of guessed how I think people might hold them. Um, so I've got my the, the, to the normal rein um, in my two fingers and then the double in the bottom, but I feel like perhaps it's the other way around. So just take your snaffle rein, mm -hmm. so hold your snaffle rein as you would normally, okay? And then what you want to do is, so we put that there, so stick out what I call your gun fingers, as mm -hmm. though you're gonna go pow pow. Okay. And then pick up your curb rein. Okay. And then that's how you hold them. And with him, he's got a snaffle, he's got this little tepelum as well, which is what I often use with our sort of intermediate type riders. Yeah. Um, and assessment riders who I know have done a bit. Yeah, but you don't but know. I'm not sure how they're going to be with the double or the snaffle. So we've got oh, the boy. little tepelum in and I can get a good feel for where you are. So we tend to ride, try to get them in what I call the horizontal balance. Mm -hmm. All the horses, first of all, so you've got a nice sort of like sort of flat back okay and then the neck comes out almost on the same trajectory so we're working the horse a little bit round and, and not long and low yeah but just in with a vertical face and a horizontal sort of top line okay and with the similar connection on both mm -hmm. reins okay obviously if he starts to get over bent then you'd lighten the curb rein okay and then if he's if he and you'd use a bit more snaffle rein yeah mm -hmm. and then vice versa okay, okay? One of the reasons I wanted this lesson was to see which habits of mine showed up both on Woody and on this horse so that when I go back to Woody, I can be more aware of them and correct them and not essentially rely on, oh, well, he's a bit imbalanced. It's like, well, no, I'm imbalanced. How do I fix that? Yeah, I do have the tend I do tend to get longer and longer and let them want to go flat. I call it bubbles, creating champagne bubbles. Uh, bubbles in the mm -hmm. rain, bubbles off your leg, so that the horse is bouncing rather than travelling too fast over the ground. And then it gets heavy, your half pulse don't work. As you can probably tell, it was a very wet day on this day and it was quite difficult to pick up the bits and bobs that we were chatting about as we went along. But we worked mainly on a diamond shape to begin with in walk and then in trot and focusing on bending Guinness, not from my hand, but from my leg and my seat. I also have a tendency to push horses forward with my seat and really push the stride on. But because I don't have the strongest contact, I tend to let them get long and flat. All of that energy that I create from the back end goes nowhere straight out the front door essentially so it was really interesting to ride a different horse and just see how that feels and to be honest it made me feel so lucky that I have Woody and when I got back on him the next day it was like sitting in my favorite armchair which is a really wonderful feel especially as I haven't really had Woody for that long now Here's Woody and I in a lesson a few days later. I had been working really hard on off-horse exercises, yoga, pilates, and really thinking about my position, but not forgetting to actually enjoy riding Woody and spending time with him and making sure that I was being mentally positive in this lesson. And I had a wonderful time. As I said, it was so nice to be back on him. So that's it for this week's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, do leave me any questions or comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week. I post videos every Friday at 4pm BST, which is UK time. See you then. Bye.